Right, it's the 6th of October 2021 and this would have been Zara's dad's birthday today and he would be 73 if he was still alive. Anyway, I've come to Draycott, got on the bus, got a late bus. It's, it's going on for quarter past 11 in the morning now. Much, I don't normally start late, but this isn't what I call a massive walk today. Um, it's a break from the awful, horrendous weather we've had for the last four or five days. Um, in fact, the last fortnight has been horrendous. It was two weeks ago, the last time I went on a reasonable hike. And I did that Row Barrow and Dolbury Warren walk. It was two weeks ago, because we, we haven't had the weather. This is a window, a couple of days of window. Um, this is the breezier of the days. But this is the day with less rain. There might be the odd shower. Right over there you've got Brent Nola in the distance across the fields. Nylon Mounted far away there. I've done up most of the landmarks this year apart from Glastonbury. That's some reason more complicated to get to. And I think it'll have to be a wait till next summer now because of the time factor and the bus restrictions. Anyway, I'm going up this little hill. It's a bit like Stout Lane. It's a gradual climb. I don't normally video going up hills. But I thought I haven't done this for about a year. Not quite a year. There was some more bits I wanted to explore up here, but I don't think I'll be doing it today. Because I've already left, le that would have to have started earlier. I'll just come and say hello to these two lovely, oh, there's a little pony. In there, there's a little tiny pony, look. Oh, look at you. And two big ones. Hello. I bet you met people coming on their walks, don't you? Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, that's a nice um, hilltop cottage. It looks like it was a shed once and it's been converted. Right on the hill there, look. Right on the hill there. So I thought I'd introduce today. I'm going for, to head for, I'm heading for Draycott Slights. Um, <clears throat> now, if I take the easy route at Draycott Slights, I won't have to go up any hill. Okay? Right over there you've got Crook's Peak, another feature and reference point that I use and I've been up that this year. There it is right over there. We'll see all this, a lot of this in a minute. The Vale of Avalon, I can, e I can even see Steep Home and Breen Down actually if I zoom over now. This might be the only chance you see these. I'm not sure if I can get to see these when I'm on the top. It might be, it might be masked by um, Crook's Peak. I just take a picture. Hold on. Right, we're carrying on. I'm being very brave videoing going uphill, actually. I've never been up there. That could be private or it could be a route somewhere. Uh, oh, it said private land. Keep out. Yeah, no, it's private then. Now, the thing is, this because this weather has been so dodgy, I'll just zoom into Nylon Mow in a minute. Because this weather's been so dodgy, it's been it's difficult to know exactly what to wear. That's Nyland Mound. There's a trig point of Nyland Mound there. Quantock Hill's right in the background. Which I need to get out to at least another time before the winter really sets in. Um
So what's happening in the world? Well, a lot of people are facing extreme poverty because they've cut the special money they gave to to people who were already vulnerable. They were giving them £80 a month more and they've stopped it. But what they but they've also put electricity's gone up, food everything has gone up. That eighty pound should never really be taken away from them. Because everything's gone up since the start of the COVID thing. And I think it's actually cruel and criminal what they've what they've done. They say what they're saying is, oh there's a lot more work now. But basically what that means is some people are actually on universal credit and they're actually, um, they work anyway. They've got young families and stuff. Somebody coming. I'm just going to turn off in a second. Now. Right. Carrying on. This is, I think, video three. You can see how steep it is. I'm going to have to take my coat off when I get to the style, I think. Because uh, there's no way, although I, I probably might need it on the top. Now over there is the avenue of trees. Now, depending on what I do when I get over there, I could be walking through that avenue, or it depends if I want to climb on the top or not. I've taken a picture of that. If I decide to climb up the slights, um, I won't be walking through the avenue, so it's always a good idea to get a picture. <sighs> but at the moment, I've got a, a pre-winter jumper on, which still keeps you warm. Um, and I've got an autumn coat on. But when, when I don't re I was questioning whether to wear this but you see what happens, it's not now I need it. It'll be later when I'm waiting for the bus when the temperature drops. You know, five or six o'clock and I won't be moving. That's when I'm gonna need this coat. But of course my bag is already very heavy because I'm loaded with my pat lunch, two bottles of water, all my camping ca um, ca camera equipment, <sighs> first aid kit, <sighs> bits and pieces, and it all weighs you down. <sighs> There's another good picture. We just go over, I always go over to this gate every time actually. It's a nice picture. I'll be climbing up. If I decide to go up on the slights, I won't be going through the trees. Over and out, take another picture.